Horror mystery thriller Odd Thomas 2013 explained. Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode with marvelous videos. In today's video, we are going to explore the character of Odd Thomas. Why does everyone keep saying he's a strange man? What is it that makes him so different from the rest of the crowd? Odd Thomas was released back in 2013 and is based on a novel of the same name written by Dean Koontz. It is actually the first novel of a series. Now, you would think that just like most of the movies which are adaptations adaptations of novels, even this one would have trimmed the novel completely, but that is not the case. Odd Thomas has actually stayed true to the novel as the film proceeds. Of course, the occasional dimming of some characters and episodes from the book has to be done based on the film's runtime, but still, this is one of the better adaptations as the horror genre goes. Guess who directed this film? We all know his genius and legend from some of the top class movies like The Mummy, G.I. Joe, and Van Helsing. That is right. It is none other than the legendary Stephen Summers. Now, it's positive that this film has to be yet another wonderful work by him. The way he has captured all the horror, as well as mystery within the film, is just brilliant. Odd Thomas centers around a guy whose name is Odd. Call it luck or coincidence, he indeed does a lot of odd things too. So, basically, he has a lot of psychic powers, and to the advantage of his hometown, he uses them all for good reasons. Sure, we can call him the savior of the town, more like the superhero that he is, but this life with such powers does not always come very easy to him, and it sure isn't always all that jolly and good. From the Star Trek franchise, the brilliant actor who plays the role of Pavel Chekhov, Anton Yelchin, stars in the film as our very own Odd Thomas. Unfortunately for the film industry, Anton Yelchin was killed in a tragic accident in his driveway in 2016. May he rest in peace. He was a terrific actor indeed. He has portrayed Odd Thomas so beautifully that you will agree that he was destined for this role. It is as if he is Odd Thomas. Living in a small town with extremely useful psychic powers is the story of this guy, Odd Thomas. How does he manage to save his town from the horror that looms over it? Well, let us find out. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. This town is in serious trouble. When evil comes to town, he is the only one who can stop it, Odd Thomas. The film begins in the small town of Mundo in California. Odd Thomas talks about his abilities. It seems like he was born with them and it's sort of like a generational power for him because even his mom had psychic powers, but she kind of went rogue with them and so Odd's dad had to get her locked up and sent away. Now, of course, Odd doesn't want the same fate to befall him, which is why he never told his parents that he has these abilities. An interesting Interesting fact is that in the novel, Odd's mother does not have any abilities, but they show it in the movie anyway. We get to see Odd's abilities for the first time when the ghost of a girl appears in front of him, asking him for help to get her justice. That is right, he can see ghosts. But these ghosts can't talk, so the ghost takes Odd to her murderer, and after getting in a fight with that guy, Odd has him arrested. It is good to know that the police chief, Wyatt Porter, who is played by the amazing Willem Dafoe, is on Odd's side because he is aware of Odd's powers and looks like he has always helped the chief in solving crimes. And guess what? Before casting William Defoe, Tim Robbins was actually considered for the role of Chief Wyatt Porter. Well, as it turns out, solving crimes is like a side job for Odd because he works as a short order cook in a diner. Other than the chief, the only one person who knows about his abilities is his girlfriend. Stormy Llewellyn. This is a love story you are not going to get enough of. Addison Timlin plays the role of Stormy, but they had first considered Lily Collins for the role, who dropped out in favor of Mirror. Mirror 2012. The major twist in this movie happens when Odd has a really scary dream that a lot of faceless people wearing the bowling alley uniform get shot by a faceless guy. And to top it all, even Odd gets shot. Well, it sure is scary because Odd's dreams often end up pointing towards reality. There is a creature in the film that makes an entrance. Odd calls them Bodaks. 
These are invisible creatures who feed on evil and linger around where some pretty great danger is about to befall. Only Odd can see them, and although these creatures don't really do anything, if they find out that you can see them, they will kill you. So when a strange guy, Robert Robertson, walks into Odd's diner, he brings along with him a lot of Bodaks, and Odd has definitely not seen so many of them together before. Odd and Stormy call him Fungus Bob, and they try to find out the deal with this man. Before we find out anything concrete, Fungus Bob suddenly tries to crash Odd and Stormy's romantic date, and looks like he is after Odd for some reason. Well, Odd being Odd, soon figures out that Fungus Bob is connected to that mass shooting from his dream, which is about to take place at the Green Moon Mall, and it was actually Bob's ghost that ruined their date. With a lot more discovery, Odd finds a lot of satanic websites on Bob's computer along with different body parts in his fridge and samples of explosives. Yeah, that is definitely going to make you want to puke. He then finds a tattoo mark on Bob's wound that reads P.O.D. It is the same tattoo that the police officer Varner also had on his hand. And guess what? P.O.D. means the Prince of Darkness. So it looks like Bob was working along with these police officers for the major blast that is yet to happen. After reaching the mall, we see that Officer Eccles has murdered the security staff. In the middle of the shooting inside the mall, Odd manages to kill the shooter but looks like Stormy might be dead. We do see her standing up later, but is she alive or is Odd seeing her ghost? Remember Bob was planning to blow up the mall? Well, Odd finds the truck that has a lot of explosives in it. He manages to get the truck out of the mall but Officer Varner shoots him. We already know that he was going to be a hero, so he went on to drive that truck far away to an isolated location. Trapping Varner inside, he jumps out just in time when the truck explodes and the small town guy with psychic powers saves the day. When Odd walks out of the hospital, he is a local hero, and there is a whole crowd standing outside with signs cheering him. One of the signs says, In Odd We Trust, which is actually a graphic novel in the book series. Well, the film ends with Odd finally realizing that Stormy actually died in the mall shooting, and ever since, he has just been with her spirit. A sad love story ending indeed, but it sure made the film even more fantastic. Now let us find out what exactly are these abilities that Odd Thomas lives with and what's up with the Bodaks. Odd Thomas, Psychic Power, and Bodak, Slaves of Satan. The first and the biggest of Odd's interesting psychic powers is that he can see dead people. They can't physically harm him, of course, or talk to him, but they are only visible to Odd Thomas. It looks like all the lost spirits know that if they want justice and peace, Odd Thomas is the guy to go to. There are different kinds of ghosts Odd meets throughout his life. Like the little girl Penny, not every ghost seems to be after revenge. In the movie, we see Tom Jed, Odd's little league coach, whose ghost always seems to be hanging around Tire World. That place was not even connected to his death and just tries to get a laugh out of Odd. There we have it, strange ghosts indeed. Even though Odd can't talk to these spirits, it looks like due to his psychic intuition, he is still able to communicate with them without words. That is how he discovers their stories and helps them rest in peace. There is also an interesting detail related to the dreams he has. His dreams have often seemed to be connected to his psychic abilities, and they are like visions. They tell him things that are about to happen. Yeah, that is a totally cool power to have. Oh, but the most interesting psychic power that he has is what his girlfriend Stormy likes to call psychic magnetism. It basically helps him find whomever he is looking for. Even if he doesn't know anything about that person, he lets his instincts take over him, and then he is drawn towards that place where that person is. It definitely came in handy for Odd when he was trying to find Fungus Bob. But there is also a downside to his ability. If Odd was consciously trying to avoid a certain person, he would still be automatically drawn to that person. He doesn't have much of an option there. So, looks like even though he has control of some of his abilities, others certainly seem to be controlling him. We know that our hero always tries to put all of his wonderful psychic powers to good use. That is how you become Odd Thomas, very true to his name. A rather dangerous power he has is being able to see creatures known as the Bodaks. But what exactly are these Bodaks that hover around certain people? Technically, they're a kind of liquid-shaped creature that don't really have any substance. 
Something interesting here is that bodax is actually an old Scottish term for the boogeyman. And as most of you know, a boogeyman is like a bogart, a type of household spirit or goblin. But guess what? A bodak is not just an ordinary goblin. They are attracted to death, like omens of death. Whenever Odd sees a bodak around a person, it is an indication that death is definitely next on the destiny line for that person. So basically, the Bodaks are mythological creatures who come from Scottish or Gaelic folklore. They are said to be tricksters and evil vindictive beings similar to boogeymen or bugbears. That could be true since we saw in the film that all the Bodaks that Odd kept seeing around Fungus Bob were actually misleading him, so they knew that Odd could see them. According to Scottish folklore, the Bodak hunts down naughty and bad children from their homes, entering and leaving them through the chimney. The Bodak might also give children night mares but could not cross the line of salt. So if you ever find yourself being followed by one of these creatures, make sure you find some salt. You might have a little bit of bad luck though because as Odd says, nobody other than him can see the Bodaks. And guess what? They are scarier because if they find out that you can see them, they will make sure to kill you one way or another. There is also apparently another interesting story about Bodaks connected with the tombstone of Sethmore Gorfikala, which is located somewhere in the Duno Frothia Marcus. That grave is said to be haunted by a Bodak of the Dune, who is linked to the five stones lying on top of the grave. The stones are thought to be cursed, and anyone who touches them is said to be killed by the Bodak. In fact, several people who have touched the stones ended up dead soon after. That was definitely due to the Bodak. In order to prevent that from happening, an iron gate was constructed on top of the stones, hiding them underneath so that no one can touch or remove them and end up having to face the wrath of the Bodak. Well, now we know everything about the strange psychic abilities of Odd Thomas and the not-so-friendly invisible creatures, the Bodaks. The film indeed is a beautiful tragic watch. It has a lot of mystery that will have you hooked to your seat until the very end. Oh, and once thousands of Bodaks start crawling the streets of Picamundo, it will leave you terrified. Steven Summers has definitely done a wonderful job with this mixture of horror, mystery, and thriller stitched up together with the story of Odd Thomas. With that, we have come to the end of another amazing video here with Marvelous Videos. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button on your way out. Until then, stay safe and have a great day. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. This town is in serious trouble.